Hi, uh, on this right reading, I received a question about uh, buying a trailer. So what I'm seeing a lot of here uh, is we have money close together, uh, pentacles for money. We have some emotion here uh, and we have some strife over here. So um, let me move this over. Currently my my husband is watching TV and I needed some quiet time so I came in my room <laughs> and that's why everything's moving. So, all right, so what will you gain by buying a trailer? And this is basically what I'm looking at here. Now this is the moon, now it's reversed the way that I have it, but I'm showing it to you this way. Now, the moon and the sun, of course, are um, together on opposite sides of the coin but they do work together you can see that the the two dogs are different colors they're both baying at the moon uh, or the sun and you can see that there's like a little crawdad or lobster here coming out of the out of the water uh, you see water here water means emotion and you can see that there's also two towers right here and towers in in this uh, deck or any right or weight deck uh, usually means watchfulness. Um, someone's watching over you, careful, things like that, okay? So remember that the moon is upside down, all right? So I'm gonna put that back down again. And um, so right now, unfortunately, your needs are not being met, okay? So you don't feel fulfilled at this point in time. Now, um, I'm gonna tell you the story, okay? And then, Hopefully that will bring you closer to making your decision. Um, so you're feeling ignored and, and uh, things like that, but also you have a trauma. And this trauma in your past, uh, unfortunately, it has not been, um, it's not been worked through yet. So this trauma is holding you back, okay? And... Um, Unfortunately, sometimes we really can't make a clear decision because we have something holding us back, something that we haven't yet worked through, which is our job to do here on, on our beautiful earth, okay? So we're supposed to work through our own uh, issues so we learn more and become more, all right? So this is telling me right now something's not ready for you you're it's just not quite there okay for the gain all right so let's go to the second one and this is what you're learning from your past mistakes okay that's important for you to know and again it's upside down this is the ace of pentacles and right side up so it looks like this for you but right side up this means success new beginnings really exciting things so in this position, we've got some greed going on, okay? So in the past, there's been some mistakes where um, finances weren't right. There, there was some sort of um, uh, basically desperation and um, a materialistic type of thinking in the past. And if that's so, I mean, if we're talking about you, in, in your finances, that might mean that your credit score might be low, okay? Which means that you would pay even more in interest for the trailer. So we're not really sure about, I'm, you know, I can't say definitively if this is you or if this is someone around you who's greedy and who um, is materialistic and, they, and, and this is a mistake you made by being around this person or if you are this person, and you made that mistake and you, you're going to be learning through that mistake, just like back here, okay? All right, so um, you, oh yes, and you, you might even go back to some of your old mistakes, your old ways of behaving even financially, okay? Or if this is you, your own greediness or staying around people who are greedy for those materialistic type things, okay? Um, so this also was an, you, 
it was an unwise investment. It could have been, it could have been in, in money or it could have been your time. So if this is you, then you were taking up your own time um, with things that were actually hurtful for you. But if this is a person who surrounds you, or if this is a, a both of you as a couple, or if this is a parental type thing, um, then unfortunately the greed outweighed um, what could have been a really good opportunity, okay? Um, you were treated unfairly. So um, this could also be where you were working, and unfortunately, um, you were promised something, you didn't get it, um, which also negatively affected you in your finances and maybe even your credit score. So this also could be uh, an educational type of a realm where maybe you went to school and um, maybe you were supposed to graduate and unfortunately something happened where the institution, the government, it could be anything like that, that they kind of stepped on your toes. So we have several different things happening here. We have our emotional side, which is we're around someone who's greedy or we are the greedy person. We maybe wanted to go for some education and maybe um, that pilfered out for you. That, that just didn't come to fruitation, uh, which it really should have, okay? So, we're gonna come down here to, to the Five of Swords. Now, upright, he looks like this, but upside down, looks like this. So this was, um, this, this is what is calling you, what's calling most to you, or what needs to fall away, what, what you need to get rid of. So we're gonna take a look at this. And so here, we're looking at a battle, okay? Um, so again, this goes right with what we're talking about. There's a battle being played here. And if it's you, it's within you. And um, that battle feels like it's being lost. Like you're never gonna get there. If it's a battle of wills between you and a partner perhaps, or someone around you that's very influential and means a lot to you. Um, that's just a, a big battle. You feel like you're gonna lose. Um, it, it also can be in, in this can be a family dispute. Maybe somebody in your family really wants you to do something. And over here, you know that maybe this person was greedy. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with that buying that trailer because maybe that person needs to um, respect some boundaries. And if it's you, maybe you need to respect your own boundaries. Okay, put some boundaries in there and say, you know what, I need to bring my credit score up, I need to, um, you know, put away a little bit of money so that I can pay down that trailer and really get a good credit score. So I'm going with this because your question was about buying the trailer, okay? Alrighty. Um, that also says maybe it's time for a gracious exit. It depends on, is this, is this somebody that you want to buy a trailer with? okay, who's greedy and materialistic? If so, maybe it's time for a gracious exit. Or maybe, or maybe that you're willing to fight for it and all is not lost because this person's still standing, okay? You can see the other people in the background are walking away. They've dropped their swords. They do not feel the fight is important to them. But you can see here that this person is still standing and this person's young. So I'm assuming, um, and I shouldn't, but I'm assuming this might be you or someone in your life um, who has maybe a, a young mind or um, youth at, at their coming with them. Um, but anyway, you can make that decision based on is it you or is this a partnership, someone that um, you're going to be putting your money in with. But this person's greedy, so please be careful with that. So here we're looking at um, what's happening in your present situation and what it holds for you. So um, this is upside down for you, okay? The two of pentacles, pentacles mean money. And you can see he's kind of like a gesture, jester 
who's just kind of, you know, balancing it. And, you know, he doesn't really have a care in the world. And in the back, you can see there's a lot of emotion. Water means emotion, okay? But it's a clear sky, and he's happy and all that sort of thing. Um, but you can see also that there are ships that are really on this very, very wavy space. And um, these ships, unfortunately, are having some problems uh, you know, with navigating the sea. Well, upside down, this guy, um, is meaning that there's ego and pride and something's getting in the way here. So here's also irres irresponsible spending. And you can see that you have your money right next to each other. So this isn't, this isn't something new. This irres irresponsible spending gambling, something like that. Something is going on where the money is creating difficulties and stress in your life and unfortunately um, makes you feel quite negative. And um, so this person or you are extremely irresponsible in spending and I'm not really sure this is you. I'm, I'm really seeing this young person over and over and over again, okay? Um, so in this situation, all is not fair. Okay. It's not equal. And, um, perhaps you should be looking into how to create that equality or maybe, you know, saying goodbye to that and saying, you know, this isn't the energy I want in my life. And that's okay too. That would be perfect. Okay. So here is where is the door opening for you? In other words, where are there opportunities? So where are there opportunities to be had for you? And here we have the King of Wands. And as a person, of course, he's very, he's not overly mature, but he's a mature person compared to, you know, your, your Two of Pentacles and your um, Five of Swords over here, okay? So this guy's worldly. He's probably traveled to, to several countries. He has a, uh, a really good way about himself with understanding other people even if they are different than he is and if the situations are different so he he will think about it from more of a holistic type of a uh, of a way you know maybe he's maybe he's thinking of a situation where um where He's thinking, you know, maybe we'll gain something from moving into this trailer, or maybe he's thinking, um, he, but he's, he's thinking it through, okay? And I find uh, when you're going to move into a trailer, you kind of need to know about the people around you. Uh, are they going to be um, friendly to you? Are they going to treat you fairly, which is over here, okay? Um, and if you are with this person who's greedy, are they going to come around and realize that even though that they want things, want those materialistic things, are they going to be able to, and are they going to be willing to save money for those things that will come up in the future? So if you own a trailer, you're going to have to take care of it. You're going to have to pay lot rent, perhaps. And lot rent is not inexpensive. So um, that's something you really need to consider. Okay, so with this also... Um, with the King of Wands, um, you need to express yourself. You need to express your ideas. You have a right to speak your mind. Um, and you need to be who you are. You don't try to change yourself for someone else, okay? So if this is someone else, don't try to change yourself for this person. Be who you are. If you don't think that this is the time for you to buy that trailer because of maybe this person's too uh, immature at this point or is too greedy or um, th those types of ideas, then stand your ground. You don't have to do this. You know, maybe there's a better situation happening soon, okay? Um, so one of the things you really need to do is you need to find more practical support, okay? I'm assuming still that this person is not. <clears throat> At this point, you need to find somebody in your life who is practical, who will support you, who will catch you if you fall, okay? And 
right in here. You're not having that. This person might mature. I mean, I don't know that. This person might mature and become more like this person. That would be exciting, wonderful. Uh, I'm not going to say it will or will not happen. I don't know if this person is in that place in our life where they can uh, make that transition to this person here. But this might be somebody totally different. I'm leaning towards somebody totally different. Maybe this is a parental figure. Maybe this is a friend who's around who's interested in you. I don't know. Um, and I say male. Okay, this can also be female energy. So I'm just saying that this person, if it, if this is a female, or um, this would be somebody who has some more masculine qualities to them. Okay, and maybe they don't identify as either, and that's fine too. Um, but I'm just letting you know about the energies. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, the Cups again are all about emotion. Now here you can see that the Page of Cups has more calm water. So that's more calming. Uh, you can see that he has a fish in a cup um, and that has a lot to do with the symbolism and uh, astrology too. <clears throat> like with the Pisces type of a feeling where um, this person's creative and there's all of these wonderful things happening. Um, so, but this is all about what will you expect from your risk? So it's a risk to buy that trailer. It's a risk to put that money out for maybe the lot rent. It's a risk to have to um, fix up the trailer, okay? And no matter what happens, you will have to do those things. So, <clears throat> This guy right here, this person, um, is just a messenger and it's bringing news and, and about emotional issues. So things are going to calm down for you. You're going to, maybe this is a new lover or maybe if this person, cause you can see that they're starting out young, becoming older, uh, and then, um, this person becomes a little bit more um, in their worldliness. Maybe they're becoming also allowing some of that childlike energy to come back in, but they've learned from it. So they've calmed down those emotions. Okay, you see that difference there? And um, it's really, really nice to see that cup there because this is an, also an emotional undertaking. Whenever you buy something, especially big like this, you, you want that calmness. You want that um, stability, that practicality right here. That person to come right behind you and say, I've got you, okay? So um, this is actually, this is good news here, okay? And so oh, again, there's a lot of imagination and creativity. So if you do buy, buy the house, you're gonna love, you know, decorating it and um, making it special, making it yours but you have all of this to get through first, okay? So once you get through this, let's see what our outcome is, okay? So here we have the Four of Cups. Um, cups, again, being um, about emotion, okay? So it's upside down for me, okay? If it was right side up, um, so if it was right side up, you, it would say that you're not really seeing what the opportunities are out there. You can see that he's got his arms crossed. You can see he's got his legs crossed. And here, um, remember the ace, the ace of pentacles here, the aces are trying to give him that cup and he's not paying attention whatsoever. So if this was right side up, this would mean that you're not seeing the opportunity that's before you, however it is upside down. And um, this means that you need to take control and make your lifestyle changes, okay? And that goes right in here, totally, with all of these other cards. So this is, this is something that could happen. This could be this person in your life that's greedy, growing up, learning through their own mistakes, or maybe even you growing up, learning through your own mistakes, um, becoming someone who's going to basically take charge of their own emotions 
And here, upside down, um, you are going to take control and make lifestyle changes. This is what you need to do, okay? That's your outcome. And once you get there, things are going to go really well. So I hope you liked your reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and that um, you will uh, find that you know, your decision will be a little bit easier because remember, we always have to check out the whole environment for this, for that decision. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.